Hey guys, really quick before I start this video, just in case you guys are interested, my protein is having a big Black Friday sale all week, and especially today, Tuesday the 22nd, where you can use our athlete links and discount codes and actually get 35% off in total. The links and codes are down in the description below, and legit, you can get like five and a half pounds of whey for like 33 bucks, which is cheap as hell. Either way, now that my shameless plug is over, onto the video. Hey guys, okay, so I am currently at the airport, as you can tell by that, so hopefully you can hear me over it. But I'm on my way to Chicago for the uh, Alphalete, kind of like America tour. So I don't have much time to talk because my flight is literally boarding now. But quick little outfit of the day. I have the new Alphalete. This is the white, this is the fishtail, as you can tell. Got that little flap, which is kind of cool. I've got this little leather jacket, bomber jacket from ASOS, which I love. It's kind of thin, but really nice. Got my Alphalete hoodie underneath because Chicago is probably going to be freezing. The bottom is Zara jeans. Everyone always keeps asking me about them. So they are Zara jeans. They're like 2 or 3% spandex or something, which is awesome for my quads. My new favorite, favorite piece of the outfit, Stacy Adams black boots. Oh, what do you think? A boot, them boots. Oh my God, guys. Do I sound like that? God, South Park really was right. Us Canadian people do have an accent. You guys are dick. Release Tans and Philip, or we'll give you something to cry about. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, guys, so I just touched down in Chicago, and I gotta say, I've been here, this is my second time, and I've been to like, you know, a reasonable amount of airports, you know, Toronto, uh, Houston, New York, uh, a couple in Europe, and I gotta say, this one's probably my favorite in the entire world. Now, I'm not here, because I'm at the wrong side of the airport, but they have like, they have like one of those like bronchiosaurus or whatever, like legit, like a dinosaur, in the actual airport. I'm like, is this a museum or something? I'm like, that, that's, that is a nice touch. Guys, welcome to Chicago. The entire team is reunited. Hey! Emily's the only one that has any enthusiasm. Everyone's just like, mm. we're all very hungry. We're going to Chipotle, and uh, yeah, we get off the, we got out of the Uber. We meet like the lady who's taking care of our Airbnb, and she's like, you know, there's so many good restaurants. There's so much stuff around, and then we're like, yeah, screw all that. We're Chipotle. End of story. Hey guys, okay, um, so we are at the place now and it's the meetup. There's a lot of people in there, so we're just kind of chilling outside because we have to wait for the rest of the team to come. We took two different Ubers. Now we're kind of just chilling, waiting for everyone, and then we're gonna go in, then have fun. I think I hear it's a gym, which is good because everyone else is tired, they don't want to do a workout, so I'm thinking literally mid-meetup, I, I you know, might just pump out a couple sets of bench. Everyone's looking real, real nice. I actually want to see this. I can't even reach that high. <laughs> Damn. I can't see. Oh so. my god. god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit. This is, I don't think I've ever seen this many people in a single room before. Okay, so now it's the end of the night, and uh, everyone, as you can tell, you know, everyone's enjoying their pizza and stuff. I'm like, you know what, guys? No, no, I'm gonna enjoy a nice salad. <laughs> <laughs> Results in like 400 dislikes from the vegan community. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we're getting breakfast right now. The whole team. Breakfast. Breakfast at like 11, 11:30. Now I'm finishing off with this. Yes! With it. Yes! Okay, so the team is all here. We all regrouped. 
and now we're enjoying this thing is so awesome and so weird. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Like I would always see this in photos and videos and it is it is a lot more massive than it seems. It's so weird though, like the way it reflects you. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys. I think it's hollow, I don't know. Oh fuck this man, fun fact about me, I hate heights so- oh shit. <laughs> I do not like it. Guys, check this shit out. Like, I'm literally gonna puke. Just gonna- uh, Okay, no, I'm done. No, we're done here. Yeah, you can watch me. Bro. A little closer, a little closer. Bro. Both hands, okay, both hands, both hands. Okay, guys, so, we were this close. This close to not working out today, but finally, in the clutch, someone came through, and on Twitter, you know, they tweeted us, I think it was like Rob, or just the general athlete, and they said, you know what? We got a gym, it's in the area. If you guys want, we can get you in. And it's, it's fucking perfect. There's, and I think I'll be doing chest day. I've been keeping it fresh. Because I knew that we would be working out. And if I'm gonna work out, you know, with this environment, with this team, I ain't hitting no, like, you know, lights. We're gonna be hitting chest, we're gonna get a good pump. And guys, even though we are kind of like, you know, in a weird situation, we're in Chicago, you know, there's a team, we're, it's all up in the air, I'm still gonna be trying to focus on progressive overload. Depending on how I feel, we're either gonna be going for a 225 for four sets of 12, or a 265 uh, for four sets of eight. We'll see how it goes. Ah! Okay guys, three sets, eight reps, done. Now, this is interesting. I don't think, I've been stuck on this weight, 265. I've been stuck on it for over a month. Part of it's because it's just hard. Part of it's also because I've been all over the place, traveling and not sticking to my diet, not sticking to my workouts, inconsistency. It's my own fault. However, I am one set away, one successful set away of eight reps, just eight little reps from finally breaking through that plateau. What I've been chasing over for fucking five weeks. I don't like plateaus. Two, three weeks, fine, but not five. Not over a month, that's not good. And um, I'm one set away, one fucking set. That last rep was a real big grinder. In fact, right now the camera's probably really shaky because I'm like, my, my elbow is like, Ugh. But I'll be honest, part of it is, you know, being here on this trip, part of it is training with guys, you know, like everyone part of the team training with Christian, training with everybody. There definitely is a psychological aspect to it. We don't have a pre-workout, I got nothing. Uh, we didn't even know we were gonna work out until like 30 minutes ago when someone tweeted us saying that like, you know, come to the gym. 
we were gonna settle in for the night. As the guys were saying, Netflix and chill. You know, we just had Nando's, so it's like, you know, it's like that meal, you know that post-meal feeling when you're kind of like, you're in like a food coma? Yeah, that, but nonetheless, it's still fucking awesome and it's still working, and I got one set left. I'm gonna have to take everything I got, drive it for this last set, use every single ounce of strength I got and more, and hopefully finally break through this fucking plateau. I'll be honest, guys, if I can do that, as, as amazing as this trip is, actually, I was gonna say it's the highlight, but no, it's not. I'll be honest, the highlight, was definitely the meetup. The highlight was meeting each and every one of you. But this will be a nice cherry on top. Seven. That's fine. Next time. Hey guys, it is, it's about midnight on day two and we pretty much wrapped up uh, the trip overall. Um, the, some of the team is gonna keep on going to San Diego. They're gonna meet up with the rest of the team there. I'm only here for Chicago, so I'll be heading back to Toronto in about literally like we're talking six, seven hours. So I'm gonna enjoy my nice solid four, maybe four and a half hours of sleep. But before, you know, the end of the day, um, I want to spend a little bit of a low time with you guys you know we're gonna have a little a little one-on-one -on -one romantic period and I want to show you guys the skyline it is amazing I mean Chicago is a fantastic city it's got that big city feel kind of like kind of like New York City but at the same time it is similar to Toronto in the sense that you know it's not massive it's still kind of you know you can walk across it you can enjoy it New York is almost in some ways overwhelming I want to say something else and um, this you know it got me thinking so we did the meetup yesterday it was, it was, it, I, I can't describe it, right? It was incredible. Like, I am still, I mean, the rest of the team, they, sometimes they've done things like this. They're kind of like, you know, like, all right, you know, I know what to do. I'm still at the point where I'm like, I did not expect this many people. And when people ask, I'm still at the point where like, when people ask me for photos or autographs, I'm like, what? Like, what do I do? Where do I sign? What do I sign? How do I sign? Uh, we want to take a photo. Okay, what? what's the position do we do? Where do I put my hand? What's the standard kind of like, you know, meeting subscribers, meeting viewers, meeting fans pose? I don't know what I'm doing, which is why half the time I'm kind of like awkward. I'm kind of like, or like, like a handshake or, or we have to like, like dance around. I'm like, okay, you want to be on this side? I'll be on this side. I'll be honest. Guy, like I thought like, all right, Christian, you know, you're a massive channel. You've done this like tens of times before. So like, you know, go nuts. I'll have a couple people stop by, talk to them and it'll be, that'll be good. But there were so many people, like I can't believe, I probably talked to like a hundred of you one-on-one, -on -one, got conversations, and it's incredible to actually like see the person behind the camera, right? See the person who I'm, like, see who you are and get validation. Besides like, huh, what's your like ratio to dislike ratio? How many views do you get? How many subscribers do you get? How all these numbers that are changing on your screen, these, these pixels, like, tick, 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 like they're changing. I don't fucking give a shit. What I do care about is the person there. I would have people come up to me and they're like, hey man, I just started lifting like six months ago and you really helped me um, get a good feel or understanding of what to do because I was kind of lost, right? And it's, you can't just type in like, dear Google, how to get jacked. And then it just explodes with information, but you provide that. So it made me feel good that I can actually help a few of you out there. Or, you know, people who are trying to lose weight, people who are trying to gain muscle, people who may be stuck at a plateau and want a little change. And I would like, you know, by following what I say or what I do myself, not that I'm saying what I do myself is like 100% correct. And if you don't follow me, then you're an idiot. But in the sense that like, this is what I've implied and it helps me and I'm still learning on a day-to-day -day basis and trying to get better. All these other things like, you know, your likes, your views, the money that you earn, that's all great and all, but like, you know, what, there's fucking more to that and it makes me feel incredible. And the other thing I want to say, before I ramble on too much, as always, well, you know, what else is new? Um, there was this one guy, and he came out, and he was saying that, like, I want to start doing this too, but he was a little, he's a younger guy, he's a little bit more timid, and you know what? I completely understand, because I am to this day, it's still a little bit weird to talk to the camera, especially, like, there's a reason why I'm on this roof right now, completely alone, because it's kind of hard to do this when other people are watching, because you may think, like, what are they thinking of me? Are they look, thinking at me that, like, you know, what are you doing? Is that guy, you know, or if I, like, if I screw up my words, I'll be like, all right, I can just cut that out. But if there's people watching, they'll be like, oh, that guy's in, he, he can't even talk right, he can't even, you know, film right, he can't even act right, he can't even do anything, right? So it's kind of hard. And you're in the gym, you're filming yourself, right? There's people walking by, and it's kind of weird. 
or you're taking like just something as basic as like progress selfies, progress photos in the gym mirror, right? You want to see, you know, I'm this body fat percentage, I'm this muscle, I'm doing this, this, this. And this guy was saying that, he was saying that like he's kind of intimidated by that. And it's kind of hard. And he says, he gets that a lot from like, um, you know, people in his gym or potentially his friends or his acquaintances or whatnot. Maybe he's in school, maybe he's in, maybe he's at work. Casey Neistat did a video a little while ago and he said that like, you know, anybody who finds you weird or like, especially haters, right? And he always talks about how haters are just lazy people because it takes a lot more energy and potentially, you know, willpower or whatnot to support someone and be positive and that to hate is lazy. So thus, these people are lazy. And I'm going to take it one step further because he was kind of nice about it. Me, on the other hand, I think, oh, you're not, you know, like, not only are you lazy, but also my solution is simple. <clears throat> Fuck you. That's it. Fuck you. The people who do hate on you for whatever it is that you may be doing, if what you're doing doesn't affect whatever they're doing, right? I'm just gonna do my own thing here. I'm gonna film myself here. I'm gonna film my own workouts here. I'm not getting in your way or whatever it may be doing. I'm gonna pursue this career or that program or this job or this passion, this hobby. Whatever it is I'm doing, it's my choice. I could waste my time. I could waste my money. I could fucking break my own limbs. I could do, you know, I could. It's my body, it's my money, it's my time, it's my everything. If it doesn't affect you directly, fuck you. I don't care what you think, right? The worst thing that could possibly happen is that he never tries, right? Listen, there are some, some of these jobs, some of these careers, some of this effort, what I'm doing, the failure rate is like 99.999%. And if you guys think that I've passed that, that's not the case. I could die off any day. 100% of my viewers could just fall off the face of the earth. 100% of my subscribers, my anything, you know, my sponsorships, all this stuff could just fall off the face of the earth. Athlete one day could just be like, fuck that guy, we don't like him, falls off the face of the earth. It's possible. There is no, I haven't gotten to a point where I'm 100% safe, but I'm gonna keep doing this and I fucking love it. Every day I'm gonna get closer and closer and closer to the point where I am essentially safe. But that's not why I do this. That's not why I care. To that guy, it's the same concept, right? Like, I would much rather try something which I'm super passionate about and fail, fail miserably. Almost go into it expecting to fail. You're gonna go 100% and be like, you know what, I need to fail. Because that way for the rest of my life, that one year that you spent trying, giving it 100% and you failed, fine, it happened. But you will forever have that. And for the rest of your life, no matter what else you do, you will know that you, you know, at one point in your life, preferably when you were young, but it doesn't have to be, don't get me wrong, you fucking tried. You gave it every fucking thing that you could have. And then for the rest of your life, you know, if people say like, did you ever want to do this? Be like, yeah, I did. And did you? Yeah, I did. Did it work? No, but I fucking did it. I fucking tried. I had the balls to actually get up and do it. As opposed to like 99% of these other people, the ones, you know, the haters, the ones who I'm telling them to go fuck themselves, they never did it and they never even tried. And the reason they hate it is because they see you trying. They see you trying to do something. Maybe not what they tried to do, but something. Something that gives you passion, something that, you know, drives you, that, you know, you would get success out of, not just from a, you know, a monetary standpoint, but you would actually feel good about yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. You wake up, you love what you do. You go to sleep, you love what you do. And in between, you love how you do it. That is the definition of success, guys. I've talked about this. Loving what you do and loving the way that you do it, that is success. Whether you're broke or whether you're rich as hell, I don't care. That's not, there is no third option. It's not how much money do you make? How's your 401k? What's your savings like? Uh, show me your investment portfolio. Do you like what you do? Do you like the way you do it? That's it. End of story. There is no option three. So to the people that never actually had the balls to try it, they're gonna hate on you because they're gonna see you trying, right? And they think to themselves, you know, the chances are stacked against this guy. You know, it's 99% chance it, may, it might not happen. 95, 90%, whatever it may be, whatever you are doing, right? What if he does do it? If he does do it, I'm gonna have to, you know, if I know this guy or see him or whatnot, for the rest of my life, I'm gonna have to know and see him succeeding, thinking to myself like, why didn't I try, right? I think that if people tried, failed, and they see someone else trying, they're gonna be like, dude, go for it. I couldn't do it, but it was worth a shot. I'm gonna push you, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna motivate you. It could be something as small as like commenting, like, you know, let's say it's a weight loss journey, right? Like commenting like, go man, you're looking great. Like down 20 pounds, got another 20 pounds to go. I don't care if you have to lose 500 pounds. You can do it, like go for it, right? Versus the people that didn't even try because they never had the balls to do it. Or maybe they were too lazy to do it. They're going to sit there and be like, you suck. You still look like shit. You lost 20 pounds, but you're still fat. Fall in line, do the same shit day in, day out. You know why? Because I'm doing it because I never had the balls to do it. Fuck that. Fuck them. And I know I'm not like 
this amazing guy, right? I'm some little ass random YouTuber from Canada, from Toronto. I am in no way, shape, or form qualified to talk about these things. I'm not some motivational guru. I don't have like incredible amounts of success like some of the people who I'm so fortunate enough to like work with and be around, right? Talking to TJ, talking to Christian, talking to all of them. It's like, it's fucking incredible. But I still know a few things. And I still believe that these things apply no matter what. Whether you have one dollar or a million dollars, whether you have one subscriber or 10 million subscribers, I don't care. These are the fundamental laws, I think, of how to be a good human being. Not a rich human being, not even a successful human being, but a good human being. That is what I believe in. I am positive about 99% of things. The only thing I'm, the only thing that I am not positive about are people who are negative. So I'll just fight fire with fire. If you're the kind of person who does not support others around you, if you're the kind of person who's just gonna talk shit down on them, not even ignore them. If you wanna ignore them, that's fine. You know, let do your own thing, man. Go, you know, have at it. Go have fun. You know, good luck. You don't have to be like, hey, I'm your cheerleader. But if you're gonna sit there and just spew hate on them, fuck you.